In question 11, we have two stores, A and B, selling packages of flags. And we have to determine how much cheaper a flag from store A is than a flag from store B, given that they have different prices for their packages. Okay, let's start with store A. They sell five flags for $6.95. Okay, so there's one flag, two flags, and three, four, five flags. All right, let's move these around so we can see it better. So this package of five flags sells for six ninety five. So five for six ninety five. Now we're going to compare the price of one flag. So what we want to do is get the unit cost for one of these flags. So that means we want to find the cost in dollars per flag. And this per symbol here means division. So if we take our 695 and we divide it by 5, we'll get the cost for one flag. Okay, 5 into 6 goes once. Subtract, bring down the 9. 5 into 19 goes. 3 times, so that would be 15. Bring down, subtract 4, bring down the 5. 5 into 45 goes 9 times. So for store A, the cost is $1.39 per flag. Okay, now let's look at store B. Store B sells three flags for $4.80. So let's bring in our flags for store B. And we'll rearrange them a little bit better here. So for this package, we're getting three flags for $4.80. Again, we want the unit cost. So dollars per flag means take the cost, 480, and divide it by the number of flags, three. And if we work this out, 3 goes into 4 once. Subtract, bring down the 8. 3 goes into 18 six times. And that would give us 0, bring down the 0. 3 goes into 0, 0 times. So the unit cost for store B would be $1.60 per flag. Now we want to know how much cheaper is store A then store B. So what we do is we subtract these two. So a dollar sixty per flag minus a dollar thirty nine per flag. Here we get a borrow one here. So ten minus nine is one. Five minus three is two. And then one minus one is zero. So store A is twenty one cents cheaper than store B in terms of the cost for one flag. And there you go.